In this video, I'm going to show you how to rename a pool or data sets on Chunas Core and Chunas Scale. Okay, so we will start with Chunas Core. Um, we have an HDD um, pool here. So the first step is to export or disconnect and confirm. So I, I'm not sure whether we need to uncheck this box, delete configuration, but I guess um, since the name will be changed, the configuration is no longer valid. Um, so I will just remove it. I guess if you're unsure, you can keep it. And you may need to change um, other configurations later, but um, maybe it's safer to keep it. Okay, so it's now successfully disconnected. And if we go to storage and pool oh we are on this page there's no pool here and if we add and import an existing pool let's see if, if we can find it yeah it's still here so now we want to rename it using the shell so the command is z pool if we list um yeah this is the boot drive so we don't have the one terabyte hdd we will import hdd to something else so this re this is renaming the old name and the new name so i will call it hdd 1tb okay then z pool export hdd 1tb okay, actually let's double check if we can already import it now import an existing pool no encryption pool so as we can see um, after renaming the disk or the the pool is gone so yeah we need to run z pool exports and the new name hdd 1 tb then we should be able to find the pool here import no encryption again yep hdd 1 terabyte next and we can import great it's back online and we still have the data and if we check the virtual machine it's still here and vnc yeah it's running so yeah data is recovered good so that's chunas core and i will show you how to rename a disk or uh, a data set on chunas scale okay let's log in first so we have three data sets here and i want to rename this one ssd 220g and yeah again i have some dummy data here because i don't have a real data um so it's called dummy data go to storage find this device um yep it's here export or disconnect so again so this time uh, i will uncheck this box but it's gonna be the same okay and same thing go to shell z pull no not s pull z pool import ssd 220g i will call it ssd sata because it's a ssd with a sata port um import z pool export ssd sata okay let's go back here now you can see there is one unassigned disk and you do not want to click on this I've tried and got stuck here for like one or two hours. So if we add this disk to new pool, trying to import it, click on it, you will see this warning. Um, well, anyways, you will not be able to import this. Even if you force, you cannot click on this. Um, so the right way to do it is click on this button, import pool, instead of add to pool. And you'll be able to find this renamed pool here, SSD SATA. And we can import. And yep, it's here, back online. If we go to SATA uh, data sets, we can find this uh, pool with the dummy data. That's all.